What is up everybody, it's Gorilla Man here, back on another Farming Simulator video, and in today's video, we are on the Wisconsin and Illinois border map. Um, let me show you guys, so you just guys know for sure, see, we're back on the map, this is also the Seasons map, if you guys haven't seen it yet, make sure you go check out the previous videos, because they kind of show everything that Seasons is, and what we're kind of leading up to, and I kind of explained some things and all the other ones, but anyways, just hop right into it. So if you guys don't remember, last episode we harvested a bunch of grass bales. So we just cut up this big area, we collected all these guys, or we didn't collect them yet. But we just cut them and we got them all ready. So what I think we're going to do today is we're just going to pick these up and we're going to store them for now. Um, let me see exactly where we could store. So cows are a little bit over by the shop, I think. But there's a lot of areas for like animals and stuff like that. Like a lot of the blue stuff right there in the center of the thing, the center of the map. It uh, you can store some animals there. So I'm not sh quite sure on that. And also, um, next time we make bales, which is probably gonna be, I'm probably just gonna do that another time. Um, once I'll show you where I'm gonna do that. At. We need to make circular bales so we can roll them up and turn them into silage, and so we can save them because these ones will not be saved over winter. They will slowly degrade and be cut in half, I think at midnight every night is what it was, or something like that. But anyways guys, so we're going to go, we're going to hop in this. Oh, and also, I sold the other Dually uh, FET 900 because I'm going to be switching over to John Deere here soon anyways, and I needed a little bit of cash so I could buy this um, uh, bail collector, I think is what you want to call it. Yeah, I needed some cash for that. So I sold it. I was trying to sell not the dually. I was trying to sell the single ones, but I accidentally sold the dually. So it's not too big of a deal, but oh well. Let me get that off of here. All right, so we're gonna go over here. We're gonna go over to our not the shop, but our reset point, which is right by. Oh, there it is. I can see it right there. What piece of equipment? Oh yeah, we still have not picked up our plow. But we don't need to plow yet. Well, we're going to wait till spring, next spring to plow once we reharvest and everything. And I don't, cause I don't know if we do get the 30% crop yield bonus from having the plow I get already being plowed or not plowed yet. I don't know. We'll find out. But we're coming up here on the bale collector. We just need to pick this up. So it said like cows are over there, but cows are most definitely not around here. So I guess we can't really go by anything that the map says which kind of sucks there we go okay yeah I was gonna say can we pick that guy up with us but no we're gonna have to come back for him later I should I should go back and get it just in case our equipment does deteriorate and we are by the way we're seven days out from our mechanic um, our mechanic point where we have to go through and we have to fix up all the machines that we've been using otherwise they'll break down and um, run like slower and be really bad bad gas mount. I don't know something like that let me show you really quick so yeah seven days until maintenance is required or 27.1 engine hours probably gonna be the seven days because I don't I don't sit here for like a full like actual real day um, using this that'd be I'd be absolutely insane I bet I'd make it through like four years doing that all right but we'll come back over here uh, go right over here. All right, set this guy to operating position. Let's see, and this is the other uh, bell collector I use on the uh, American Outback map. It's like probably one of my favorite, just because it's super clean, super easy, and it's pretty quick. Let me just there we go. So now we just gotta wait, and then there you go. Alright, we'll stay to the left and then we'll come back over. So I think we got what? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten bales? Then we got ten bales. I said six. I thought we were only gonna get six, but we got a little bit more, so that's nice. And then I'll show you guys the fields in a second. The crops are growing. There we go. Yeah, the crops are growing. I had a slight issue with the soybeans earlier. I planted them too early. I didn't realize that you couldn't uh, let me show you the planting. I didn't realize the soybeans didn't couldn't plant within the first uh, three weeks of spring and well uh, yeah gorilla man planted so I kind of killed quite a bit and then I wasted probably like seven thousand dollars 
in just like labor costs and um, seed and fertilizer. So I've learned my lesson there. Next season will be a lot better, hopefully. Let's see, where's our last two? So we'll have 11 in total. That's not shabby. Not too shabby for us. And then I'll probably take over the bail collector all the way over here anyways because we're needed over there. And I'm going to see if we can find the area where you get cows because, come on, there we go. Alright, toggle operating position. Alright, now we're traveling. So yeah, we're going to see if we can go find the area where you got cows because I just want to drop this off there because cows are going to be, actually no. Ooh, or let's do sheep first. You know what? We have not done sheep in a very long time, so let's do those first. So it says sheep are like directly in the middle of the road, which clearly they aren't. Yeah, I'm gonna have to whip a Yui here, everybody. As long as I don't hit anything. Oh, getting caught up on a tree. Okay, there we go. So let's turn in here to this property. I don't know whose property this is. Yeah, I'm just gonna rule it ours. I haven't really, I've been around there like twice now, but I'll say it's ours. Mainly because it's got like a lot of cell points and I think like all the animal farms. So let's just come up here and see what we got. See what we got going on. I should have explored this a lot more. Okay. So there's chaff. Then what is this big guy in here? The, oh, it's a potato washer. What? That's pretty cool actually. Does it work? That's the question. Does this thing actually work? Oh. I think it actually works because the light's going up and everything. Alright, what do we got here? Stalls to store stuff. I hear chickens. Oh yeah, there's chickens over there. Yeah, we still need to find our chicken coop at. Or where our chicken coop's at. Alright. We'll just stroll around here. I need to check out what this is too. So, straw, grass, and silage. I think they spelled this. Wrong. I think that's straw, grass, silage. To say, okay, yeah. So you dump it in the back, I assume. Silage, grass, straw. So can you store it here? Is the question. Do you store just? Um, oh, what do they call those? Just pure? Oh, okay, here's the cows. I think. This is, is this, this is gotta be the cow area right here. We got water. That's grass. And... What's this say? Animal dialogue right here. Okay, so this is where you... Oh, cows are cheap right now, too. 38 33 That's... Usually they're about five grand a piece, so that's really good prices actually. We'll probably late fall once we get done with our harvesting, we'll probably do a little bit more with the cows. But for now we're just gonna be collecting hay and whatnot. Where does their silage go at? Because that's grass right there. Let's run through these corrals. Oh I'm stuck. Okay. So we got grass here. So are they just saying you just simply come right here and you just drop grass? I don't know about that. There's something else right here. There's, what's that say? Total mixed ration. Oh, they have something that mixes your rations for you? Oh, can we, we can't open that. Let's jump over here. Check this out. Um, we can get water right there. Alright, so silage grass. Okay. So, this is what produces your power food right here. So this is where you dump in everything and it gives you your power food. That must be, this is just storage right here. All right, all right, we got this. We're figuring this out. Let's go, let's go drop off this grass at the cows. We'll go drop off all of this. We don't have any cows yet. Let me just double check. To, yeah, we have nothing yet. It shows that we got some, but we don't, actually. Alright. 
So I'm just gonna simply back up and I'm just going to um, drop everything right here. Mm, yep, right here. We'll wait for that. We're gonna move that dialogue. Okay, well that's a little messy, but you know, it did the trick. And now we're gonna go around to the other side here of the dairy farm. Okay, we're gonna call this the dairy farm, all right? This is the dairy farm here, obviously. And find out where you put straw. I'm looking for a straw sign. I don't see a straw sign anywhere. All right, let's hop out. So this is what we were just in, right? Oh, wait, there it is. Here's a straw sign. So it says dump here. Dump grass there. So we gotta come in from this side. Okay, so we gotta come in from that side and we gotta dump straw in here. That is really strange actually. So you gotta dump it in these. So I don't know where we can dump it. We can just plan on dump it on the ground. Or maybe you dump it in this right. It's this right here. It's definitely this. Yeah, it is. So I'm sure, I think you just dump it right here in this, because this is what they do have usually, and it looks like somebody just kind of tossed it there just for the, uh, yeah. All right, so we'll dump it in there, and then, are these calves? Oh, they are. They got their own little, like, doghouse looking stuff in here. Okay. All right, that, that's looking pretty good. That's looking pretty good. Let's hop back into our tractor. And, you know, since we got some storage here, we're going to store this here. This is actually crazy. I didn't realize that this was, like, the area where you could... Oh, we could totally make this our farm. We'd All we have to do is set up a lot more things here. Like, um... Oh, what would you... Ooh. Wait. I can store stuff inside this potato shed. Oh, dude. Yeah, we're going to store stuff in here, actually. I didn't realize that this area was so like large and I had it that it had so much because I hadn't really explored it yet. Alright, so we'll drop this here. And then Alright, so then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tab over to the man truck. Alright, so here we are. So this is my fields right now, one and two right here. This one, this one. So right now on field two, what I got going on is I got this little strip right here of grass. If you guys didn't know that, I got this grass here. So I can hire a worker out and we can make more silage later. And then also I got all those soybeans from here to that uh, tree line. Uh, basically, I think that's what it is. Um, it's just pure soybeans. And soybeans sell for a lot of money right now. In this, um, they're selling for around, oh, wow, 18000 That went up like 2500 since the last time I checked it. So we got that going for us. So soybeans are going to be a huge, huge, huge uh, part of our money. Like... It's going to pay off a lot of our debts we got right now. Then over here, this is going to be for our straw because we need straw. And it's a good starting crop. We got, we're just going with wheat right now. There's this weird glitch right here where this, this line just grew way faster than the rest. Don't know why. Um, it happened with the grass too. The grass was like ready to harvest before all the rest of it. But right here we got uh, field one. It's wheat. It's about fourth the size of field two. I think that's plenty. Um... Hopefully we won't need any more than this, and we still need to, I think we have a loading wagon that we can load this up in, all the straw swath that we're going to have. I should probably do that too with the grass, and I could store it over the winter instead of bailing all of it like I did last time. But anyways guys, so that's what, we're got, that's what we got going on. Currently day three of summer. What are all those? Let's go, let's go back to our farm right now. So yeah, we got this pioneer, we got this area right now, we're basically holding up in the pioneer area. Um, Pioneer is a company, like a seed company, and there's just a lot of storage here, so we're storing everything here for now. We probably, now that I found that area, probably gonna get some more money, place some sheds down, and call that ours. Um, I'm pretty sure that's where we're supposed to go anyways, but you know what, oh well. Um, but guys, I think that's gonna be it for this video. Short video, it's just kind of going over some things, showing you guys the map of more, a couple more things I figured out. Let me know if you guys really like this map and if you guys think I should move over there because I don't know yet. I mean, this area is nice. It's got a lot of things. It's got indoors. I mean, the area doesn't really have too much storage. 
So I think I'll have to put some down, but I don't think it's too big of a deal because you do have a bunch of spots for or a bunch of things for storage, like a bunch of sheds you can place down for placeables. But anyways, guys, if you guys don't yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you guys like this video, hit that like button. If you guys want to move over to that new area, comment, like it, let me know, and I'll see you all in the next video.